Hey there, viewers. Let's talk about a battle that millions of people fight day in and day out, a sugar addiction. Too much sugar can hurt your health mentally and physically. Juicing, fasting, and cleansing are some of the best ways to detox. But are they reliable over time? What if someone guides you through every step? Today's video is all about sugar detox as we chalk out the foolproof plan for you folks week by week. Number one, the first three days. The average American consumes 17 to 22 spoonfuls of sugar on a daily basis. That's enough to make anyone feel crappy. The problem is that most people don't even realize they're addicted. Most people seem to associate sugar with candies and soda. In reality, sugar sneaks into your body through dressings, tomato sauces, bread, and breakfast cereals. Things that don't even taste sweet can be loaded with sugar. How much sugar do you feel like you eat in a day? Is there a favorite sugary food you have? Sound off in the comments below and start a conversation with our bestie community. The correct food can double as medicine. Only you can choose whether you want to make your body healthier or sicker. Detox may sound like the way to go, but it's not easy. You need a step-by-step -step plan to make it work. Going cold turkey is by far the best way. Cutting down more and more just isn't effective. But just because it's the best way doesn't mean it's the easiest. The first three days are the most difficult. You're allowed proteins, vegetables, and healthy fats. No fruits or starchy vegetables like corn peas, sweet potatoes, or butternut squash. Dairy, grains, and alcohol are also off limits. Start your day with a glass of water. If you can't function without caffeine, have some unsweetened tea or black coffee. Don't use artificial sweeteners. You'll only end up eating extra food later on. For breakfast, you can choose to have eggs of any style you want, including six ounces of poultry, fish, tofu, or green salad for lunch. Your dinner plate can be pretty much a larger version of lunch. Green veggies like steamed broccoli, kale, and spinach should be alternated with your regular salad. They also pack some real nutrition. But that's not all you would want to eat in a day. What about snacking? This is where most of us wander off track from our diet. Make it a point to carry a small box of nuts and munch on those. Just one ounce should be enough to keep you full. If you're at home, have some sliced peppers with hummus dip. It's absolutely delicious. Healthy snacks give you proteins. It's been shown that proteins keep you fuller for a longer period of time. When you diet for three days, don't just pick any three days of the week. Don't start on days where you're overwhelmed with work. This will only stress you out and drive you into the arms of junk food. You need a supportive schedule that will work around this detox. If you're an intense sugar addict, you may experience a few withdrawal symptoms in the first few days. Things like crankiness, fatigue, and even brain fog are common. This may tempt you to have sweets. Push through the anxiety and irritability and break your sugar addiction. This generally happens within the first five days, and having a piece of fruit or staying super hydrated helps a lot. Number two, week one. After the first three days, it's time to reward yourself with a sweet treat. Of course, we're talking about natural sugar from fruit. Did you think we were hinting at sweets and chocolates? Don't be silly. Eat an apple. This will taste sweet, but it's really so healthy for you. Once you don't have that taste for sugar, all the natural flavors hijack your taste buds. Who knew onions and almonds tasted so good? Enjoy all the natural hidden flavors you never knew about until now. Also, you can now start with one dairy product every day. Think of yogurt, cheese, or even butter. The golden rule is to have it full fat and unsweetened. All the fat, fiber, and protein will slow down the sugar absorption. You can even try drinking full fat milk. This will really slow things down. For snacking, you can also load up on high fiber crackers. This is something you can have pretty much every day. For all you alcohol drinkers out there, there's some good news for you. This diet allows you to have three glasses of red wine a week. That should be enough to tide you over for now. Looking for answers and all the latest health and wellness news? Hit that subscribe button and join our millions of followers. Stay up to date on all of our great bestie content. Number three, week two. The second week brings more variety to your food. Add a serving of those delicious berries. They're loaded with antioxidants. This will get rid of your body's free radicals and reduce oxidative stress. You may even look younger when you look in the mirror. Couple it with an extra serving of dairy. You might want to have two glasses of milk in the morning and evening, or a glass of milk in the morning and add crumbles of cottage cheese to your salad later. Have some starchy vegetables like yams and winter squash. They remain rich in fiber, vitamin A, C, E, and other anti-inflammatory compounds. 
Before we move ahead, here's a lot more about inflammation you need to know. Check out 11 Surprising Foods That Cause Inflammation. Now back to our discussion on a week-by-week -week sugar detox. Number 4. Week 3. After a couple of weeks of dieting, you're going to feel refreshed. There are so many improvements to your health that you can look forward to. You can have brighter eyes, clearer skin, and fewer dark circles. And do we need to spell out how energetic you would feel? With your mood swings gone, you'll be more productive at work. Week 3 is going to be much easier for you. You're going to feel much lighter on your feet. You're now allowed grains such as barley, oatmeal, and quinoa. We're focusing on whole grains rather than wheat and all-purpose flour. You also want to add more fruits like grapes and lemon to your diet. And here comes the really good part. You'll be allowed one ounce of dark chocolate each day. That's music to the ears of any chocolate lover, right? Also, you can unwind a little more by adding another glass of red wine to your schedule. Dark chocolate and red wine? That sounds like a pretty romantic night all to yourself. Number 5. Week 4. As we slide into the fourth week, your cravings for everything sweet have probably reduced significantly. This is actually the home stretch. You can now enjoy starchy foods, bread, rice, pasta, whatever you're into. Imagine getting that fat, juicy sandwich back on your menu. Doesn't that make you feel alive again? Continue with those high-fiber crackers. You can now have any fruits you choose. All limitations have been lifted. If you followed all of our instructions, you're now allowed to have not three, not four, but five whole glasses of wine each week. Just make sure you spread them out. You don't want to have all of them in one sitting. That'll just make you crave more. If this happens, your guard may come down. From here, everything unravels. Give yourself a chance to feel good about yourself. It'll take a month to break the cycle, recircuit your brain, and unhook from sugar. So many people have tried it and freed themselves from things like acid reflux, fatigue, anxiety, joint pain, rashes, irritable bowel syndrome, and migraines. One month of dieting shows you the blueprint of how you can eat certain foods for the rest of your life. Sugar gives you instant gratification, just like certain drugs. Once you have it, you just can't stop. Dopamine is a hormone that controls this reward mechanism in your brain. When you take ownership of the foods in your life, you can always enjoy the occasional piece of cake at a birthday party. Now that the addictive behavior is gone, you'll definitely not go back to square one. You simply work at maintaining this diet and keeping your life in order. Most detox diets require you to be strong-headed and rely on your willpower. People following this diet have lost anywhere between 5 and 20 pounds within 31 days. So be prepared as your body starts to get smaller. You're probably going to have to shop for some new clothes. Giving up sugar and playing along with this diet week by week will have you glowing. Mindless snacking will turn your life upside down. This is unless the snacks are healthy. Let's keep the conversation going with a couple more snack-related videos, shall we? Watch 15 healthy late-night snacks you can eat. You can also check out 18 healthy snacks if you're diabetic. Go ahead, click one, or better yet, watch both and learn more about how to snack healthy. Have you already tried a sugar detox diet? Let us know in the comments below.